Okay everybody, let's do a winter driving video in the 2012 Ford Focus. Before we get started, let me show you what we're wearing for rubber here. These are the OEM tires. These are Continental Conti Pro Contact uh, tires. Their size is a 215-50R17. And I just filled them up with air the other week to 35 PSI, which is the factory spec. And for my metric viewers, that's 241 kilopascals. Anyway, let's get started. Seat heater on four today. Is it certainly a date for it? Car says it's about 36 degrees outside. Now I'll do my usual little route. This car is equipped with advanced track that includes four channel anti lock brakes, all speed traction control, and electronic stability control. And you can see, the road's pretty icy. I am going to be overdriving the car a little bit just so you can get an idea of its handling limits, but not too crazy. It seems to track all right through the slush. Advanced track kicked in right there pretty good. It actually kicked in pretty aggressively to keep it from sliding around. So far I'm pretty pleased with it. I've never really done a full snow test in this car. Because unfortunately the winter tire package I got for the Milan has a slightly different lug pattern. And I can't afford winter tires right now, so I'm going to have to run these. Hmm, not as much snow as I'd like over here. But I'll do my usual traction test. We're gonna try to get going from a slippery hill right here. Just slushy. Full stop. Hill start assist kicking in as I transfer over to the gas. Just a little bit of chugging going on, but not too dramatic. some advanced track kicking in. The advanced track is really kicking in good. It definitely instills you with a lot of confidence. I'm glad to see it doesn't allow too much sliding going around. It's 
try abs on a split mu surface here where it's slippery on one side not as much on the other see how straight it tracks and woo see now we're going sideways that's the difference between all seasons and snow tires the electronic safety features like abs traction stability control are good but they're only as effective as the maximum amount of grip that your tires can provide. So don't think that because you have all those things that you can drive like a maniac. I'm just doing it a little bit so you get an idea of what the maximum grip is, but there is a difference whether you have those or not. And let's do that again down a hill so you can see. You can see it. That wasn't as bad. One more time for good measure. Not too bad. The pedal doesn't pulse that much in this car, which is good. You can feel it and you can hear it a little bit, but it's not really annoying. This part coming up is always the real test of the traction control because you have to get up over a little lip with your wheels at almost full lock, which is really difficult on a car with an open differential. Let's go. Fairly smooth. Easier I thought it was going to be. Listing around just a little bit through all this slush at about 30 miles and I see the traction control and the stability control kicking in a bit. But overall not bad. This is a pretty slippery surface right here, so let's... Eh, not too bad. Mm, let's go back home. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'll give it a shot. Well, there you have it. I hope that gives you